This video is all about those questions where they ask you to design a data collection sheet for someone to use. A data collection sheet is basically what you need to imagine that somebody is going to be using a clipboard. They're standing out in the street uh, in the middle of town and they're trying to ask people questions. So they really basically want to just tick, okay, or put even better, a tally in a certain position. It's got to be that easy. It's got to be a quick way of getting data. And I think that there are two main ways that people are going to do that. They're going to use a tally chart or they're going to use a two-way table, depending upon the sort of data that they have to collect. So here we're going to look at two example questions. Um, and the first one uh, is going to use one type of data collection sheet and the second one is going to use the second type of data collection sheet. So let's just have a look at this first question. Uh, it says, David wants to know the most common way that students in his class travel to school. Design a data collection sheet for David to use. So if you think about it, David is going to be stood there with his clipboard and he's going to want to ask people, how do you get to school? How do you travel into school? Um, does he need to know anything else about them? Does he need to know their name? Does he know anything like that? No, because he just wants to know the most common thing. So he only wants really one item of data from each person. He wants to know what their mode of transport is going to be. So this is the ideal situation to use a tally chart. He can stand there, he can have bus, car, bike, walk, other on his tally chart and he can literally just tally off people and he can do it really quickly. Um, so when you've just got one piece of data to collect from each person, in this case the mode of transport, you're going to use a tally chart. So what you would need to write down is some different modes of transport like car, bike, walk, and I'm just going to go for other. Always want to include an other really in case there's somebody comes along in via helicopter or swims into school. Um, you need a tally column every time. Okay, for a tally chart, if you're just collecting one piece of data from each person, you want a tally chart. Um, and then you need a frequency column. People often forget this one, but it is a really good idea to include a frequency. That way, um, when you are going to use this tally chart, you can actually total up the, the tallies afterwards. Sometimes they ask you, as an additional bit, they say, can you invent data for, let's say, 10 people in this tally chart? So you would have to go like this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, and that way uh, you can fill in the frequencies. The fre frequency is just the number of times that someone said it. So three people said car, five people said bike, one person said walk, and one person said other. That is a data collection sheet. Uh, it's a particular type of data collection sheet called a tally chart. And it's really, really simple and straightforward. The difficulty comes when you've got the second question. The second question says Janie's investigating which students prefer different types of television program. She thinks that older students will like different types of program to younger students. Design a data collection sheet that Janie could use. So here what we've got is quite critically we've got two different things that Janie needs to know. She needs to know, she needs to ask each person um, how old they are, okay, because she thinks that older students will like different types of program to younger students. So she needs to know if they're older or if they're younger. She needs to know what age they are. And she needs to know what, what type of program those people like. Because she's going to try and correlate the two. She's going to try and see if there's a link between the two. In this type of situation, the data collection sheet that you need is going to be called a two-way table. And that means you need two sets of categories. In the tally chart, we just have one set of categories. It was different types of transport. But in this example, we need two sets of categories. We need people's age, and we need um, the types of program. OK, I'm just going to put types of TV <laughs> for short. Um, and you always have one going across the top, one coming down the side. Now, 
you need to come up with sensible things, um, but you can always include an other category. So in the age, if Janie's in school, we're probably looking at people, and maybe it's a secondary school if you're taking your GCSE exam, so maybe we're looking at people who are 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16, like that. So you put the categories along the top. And then here, we'd, we've got types of television shows. So I'm going to go with just some, some ones that I'm thinking of off the top of my head. So like a drama. Do people like a drama type of TV show? Do they like a soap? Do they like comedy? Do they like, well, I don't know, factual programs like the news or documentaries? Okay, and then I can maybe have an other category. Maybe I should have an other category on the age as well, just in case she's going to ask some teachers or something. Um, so in this two-way table, we can now record uh, the number of people that said each thing. And you could do it as a tally. So you could say, right, I've found a 12-year-old who likes drama and then another 12-year-old who likes drama, and do a little tally in there. Uh, but normally, if you're asked to invent data for a two-way table, Let's say that they ask you to invent um, data for 20 people in this two-way table. All you want to do is just go through and put some numbers in that are going to add up to make 20. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 12, 16, 17, 18, 19. 20. Okay, and that would be a two-way table completed with uh, 20 uh, fictional results, fictional people that have been asked. Um, another good idea is to sort of have a total column at the bottom and at the sides there. You'll see that quite often. That will allow you to fill in missing information if you've used a two-way table. So, in summary, we've got two different types of data collection sheets. Okay, we have the two-way table at the top there and we have the tally chart at the bottom there. A two-way table is used if you've got more than one category, if you're going to ask each person uh, two things, like their age and what their favourite type of TV show is. And a tally chart is just used if you're asking people one thing. What mode of transport do you use to get into school? What's your favourite colour? What's your favourite packet of crisps? that sort of thing. Okay, I hope that's been helpful. Good luck.